The Seiko Presage line is an absolute scam. Now, before you hate me, just hear me out for a second, all right? Because I know lots of people say that the Seiko Presage is a great dress watch with good finishing and a lovely dial for the price. But if you ask me, when you actually look into it, the Seiko Presage just isn't even that good for $450. For example, it has a Hardlex crystal, which should actually be called Softlex. Because it's just mineral crystal. It's a basic mineral crystal. It's a complete fabrication. There's no such thing as Hardlex, right? It's, it's just... A normal mineral crystal. It's rubbish. It scratches very easily. And in this price range, sapphire crystals should be 100%, no questions asked, put on the watch. And it has a mere 50 meters of water resistance, which I know it's a dress watch and all of that rubbish, so you're not going to go swimming with it or anything, but for $450, it's not that hard to just make it 100 meters or something. But most importantly, it has a $35 movement with an accuracy that ranges from plus slash minus 35 to 45 seconds a day. Like almost a minute a day. Half a minute to a minute a day. That's terrible. That is genuinely terrible. It's called the 4R35. As well as this, the finishing is subpar at best. And even though the dials look nice from afar, when you look up close to them, they look terrible. They're just not that good. The quality control is terrible on it as well. It's just bad. It's just bad. At least from what I've seen in the maybe four or five that I've seen in person, almost all of the indices have finishing irregularities, dirt, gouge surfaces. And yeah, fair enough, you can say it's only $450 and it's mass manufactured. It's not going to be perfect, right? But as true as that is, Seiko is a huge brand with so much money and they could just do better. My point to back this up is that there are so many micro brands delivering exponentially, I'm talking exponentially better watches for the same price, even in the dress category. And if someone is going to spend $450 of their hard earned money, I want them to get a good bloody watch for it. The dials, as nice as they look from afar, are not nearly the best your $450 can get you. Plus, the bracelet is literally abhorrent the end link and case fitment is really poor the end links are also hollow and there's about half a millimeter of horizontal wiggle in the bracelets which is unacceptable because 200 dollars micro brand watches can you know do all of this without any noticeable wiggle though of course it is a dress watch you're probably going to be wearing it with a leather strap but even then the leather straps they come with aren't even that good either you're better off just going online and buying your own one for the movement not only is it really bad at accuracy but the finishing is subpar with tons of small scratch marks and micro debris scattered around it and this wouldn't be a big issue if it was just a normal case back but no they decided for half of them oh yeah let's add some um you know good old open display case backs which why would you want to do that to display a watch that's bad at accuracy, that looks ugly and has terrible finishing. There's no point in doing that at all. And even worse, if you objectively put these watches against micro brands even half the price, they get absolutely decimated in every single way imaginable. I mean, with the rapidly growing micro brand market, it's just like what you've got um, Vario Empire, Mitch Mason Chronicle, hell, even San Martin. And hell, even the Orient Bambino, which is like half the price of a Seiko Presage, but is a better watch. In short, this little moan is because even though maybe the dial looks nice, you can get better in the price range. The finishing is just barely passable. The quality control is abhorrent. The crystal is basic crappy mineral. And I think some of the newer models of the Seiko Presage have sapphire, but even then, still not that much to boast about. And the movement is terrible it's ugly it's low accuracy and it's high maintenance what's the point of spending 450 dollars on a watch for a movement that's rubbish that you then have to service for a hundred dollars every couple years makes no sense and if the seiko presage had a different brand name stamped on the front just any other random micro brand it would be selling 150 to 200 dollars at the most because it's just not a good watch i know there's lots of people on on youtube um, oh, like Teddy, Teddy Baldessere, 
Bulbasaur, I'm not sure how you say it, Bulbasaur, that's the one, the Pokemon, um, as much as I love him and as much as I love his videos, he says watches are good because they're on his store and he wants to sell them, but I'm being straight up honest with you, I've seen five or six in person and they're just not as good as people say, they might look nice from afar and they do pass, you know, they're not absolutely abhorrent, they're as much worse in the price range, but they're not nearly the best in the price range in terms of dress watches, not at all. So before you buy one, just think about it, alright? Have a look around. Vario Empire and Mitch Mason Chronicle do really, really nice dress watches for the same, like, $400 price range, which look better. They have better dials, they have better finishing, better movements, better everything. So look into more watches before you buy the Seiko Presage, because it's extremely overhyped and overrated and overpriced. Anyway, that's all I have time for. I know this was a little rant, so thanks for watching to the end if you did. Subscribe so I can slag off more watches or talk about how good other ones are, depending on the watch, of course. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed, watch that video because you made it to the end. So you enjoyed this one, so why not? You press the bloody button.